Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5067036 or KB5067931 on your Windows 11 computer. Then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to pause and restart the update. So go to Windows Update, hit pause over here. And once pause, resume updates and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to restart these services. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click and then click on restart. Still not working, find Windows update, scroll down. Here you can see Windows update, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click on Windows update and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. Now make a right click and then click on restart. Once this is done, now you can try to update your Windows 11. Still not working. If you see retry option like this, hit retry and then check. Next step is to run these command. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command. Paste it, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. It will run a scan. Once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command and then paste it on the same window. And once the second scan is 100% complete, copy the third command and then paste it on the same window. Once the third scan is 100% complete over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. The link is provided in the video description. Over here, write down the name of the update. For example, if you are receiving error with KB5067036, then you can write down this update. If you are receiving error with KB5067931, then you can write down that particular update. And then click on search over here. Now you have to check the version. So type in WINVER in Windows search box and then click on WINVER run command. Check the version. In my case, it's version 25H2. And then check the system type. So you can go to system in Windows settings, scroll down, click on about. And over here, you can see system type is 64 bit in my case. So for me, it's Windows 11 version 25H2 x64 base system. Now, if you have Windows 11 version 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. For me, this is the right one. Click on download. And then you can click on that update uh, that is KB5067036. Click on it and then you can run this file. Yep, let the download complete. Once done, click on this file and you can follow the on screen instruction and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer and then check. Still not working. The next step is to fix problems using Windows Update. You can use this option. So open Windows settings, go to Windows Update, Advanced option, scroll down recovery option here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once the reinstall is done restart your computer and then check the last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file now, when you run this exe file, click on accept over here. By default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file over here and then click on next. You can save it to desktop. Save. Let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once done, click on finish. And let this close automatically. This will take a few seconds or maybe a minute to close. And then you can go to desktop. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. 
and then make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so hit install so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then you can update your windows 11 so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these updates successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel